Welcome to Shop Oma. Now we've got something for the children. We've got an absolutely superb set of books. Look on the uh, uh, on the screen there. You can see our item number. The price of these books is £25, but there are 20 books in the set. So it's just over a pound a book. These are absolutely fantastic. I love these. Salam alaikum. Walik salam Sorry, I got your name wrong then. No, no, Dawood. <laughs> Dawood, that was perfect. perfect. Was that perfect pronunciation? Absolutely. I'm getting very good at your pr pronunciation of your name. Right, Dawood. We're talking about children's books here. Right, absolutely. Uh, Dawood is going to take me through each of the, each individual one, but we'll uh, we'll obviously show you each book. Um, there's 20 books in the set. 20 books in the set. For 25 pounds. Fantastic. I think that's, that's great value just, for money. just over a pound a book, as you it say. It's, it's you great can't, value. Can't for money. really argue with you that. You can't. Can you want to get cheaper on a car boot set? Wouldn't you? <laughs> well, you wouldn't. Well, you you wouldn't. probably wouldn't find these. Where would you find these? That's the thing. Only okay. on Shopoma. <laughs> Only on Shopoma. Okay, take us through each individual now, book. I'm going to take you through them. I'm reading them to you. Well, not you can't read them all to us, but you can. You can read some of them if you like. I can yeah, read some of them. Yeah. So, so the first book we start off with is is Who Is Allah? Of course, Allah is God. Yeah. So we ha who is Allah? And if we open the book, it's it's a children's book as you can see. So it's going to give children's uh, definitions in there. Just so it's that camera there, so we get that. So, yeah. so so we got the first part, which is uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah. So we all start everything with Bismillah. So in the name of Allah, the most uh, gracious. The is most that what Bismillah means? Bismillah. In the name of Allah. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most beneficent. All oh, right, you see, I'm, I le I'm learning from you. All the oh, time I'm learning, which is good. Yeah, thank you, like I'm learning from yourself. <laughs> so this one tells us who Allah is and, of course, what Allah created. Yeah. So Allah created, of course, everything. Yeah. The fruits that we eat, the, the, the vegetables that we grow. Yeah. Basically creating life. So you want to teach children who God is, very, very simple, uh, pictorial book, if you will, with uh, very few words in there, so it's very easy for the children to relate to, yeah. very easy for the children to understand. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So that's absolutely That's what I like about book. that. And the, 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 the quality of the book's great, but also uh, the colours. The colours. They're very, very the vibrant colours. colours so when you've, when you've got a young child, uh, they're going to be attracted to this anyway. They, they want to see the colours. They want to see the colours. The one, and then they want the, they'll, it'll actually make them learn. I remember when I was when I was young, getting books like this. Uh, it did make you want to read them because of the colours. Because you're of the colours. Every, everybody yeah. loves the lights at Blackpool, don't they? <laughs> they do. No matter how wet and windy it gets, they love to go there because of the colours. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, when it's windy and wet, the colours look better, don't they? Yes, they oh, do. They appear to be. <laughs> they appear to be through the rain. That's right. Everything yeah. looks clearer through the rain. That's right. So we've got your belief in Allah, which of course in Arabic means. Um, Yakin. 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 Okay. Spot on. Yeah. So that's your belief in Allah. So this will tell you all about the belief in Allah way, and why you, sh you know, what is your belief in Allah? Who is Allah? Yeah. So that will go through all of that. And again, the colours are absolutely fantastic. Look at the mixture of colours there. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. This is a this is the sort of uh, a, a gift that you would give to your child, and they could they, they'd have it for a long, long time. A long time. And also, it's something that you can pass down, isn't it? So it you, is. So you give it to one child, and you, there's no need to, to to throw these away. What you would do is is give them to your next child, next, your next child, child, next child. Uh, so it's really a great investment. I would pass them thought. down. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, you can pass it. That's down. that's believing now. We'll go through all the all the titles of each and every one. Now, now this, pick out a few this one I absolutely love, Mike, because when I was learning my salah, so when yeah. I first became a Muslim. Oh, and, yeah. and I was How, learning. Can I just can I just ask you a question? How yeah. long have you been a Muslim? I'm um, six years now. Six years. Alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, sorry, six years. So six years. Uh, so Dawood's been a, a Muslim for six years. You do know an awful lot about this faith, don't well, you? A little you're bit. Doing, you're doing quite well here. Still a lot more than I do. But the, the, so, these are, so these are your basic du'as. When I was first learning Islam, you have to learn your du'as. Yeah. So your prayers. Yes, of that course. You pray, of course, to Allah, to God, five times a day. Yeah. And I wasn't just saying hi, I was illustrating five. <laughs> five, <laughs> five, five hi guys. <laughs> hi guys, five times a day. Hi five. So this is your basic duas, which is going to be explained to you in a basic way. And of course, how to prepare for them duas with what we call wuzu. So this is actually showing how you clean yourself before you do your prayers. Okay, right. So every, uh, yeah, I know that. Every time you, you, you uh, do your prayers, you've got to clean yourself. And this is, yes. this is how you do wuzu. This is explaining how you do the wuzu from what I can see here. So it's saying he enters the washroom. Yeah. And uh, seeking protection from, from the shaitan, from the devil, putting his faith in Allah, so he's trusting Allah. This is a little boy on the prayer mat, praying, it's cute, isn't it? It is, yeah, Absolutely very cute, yeah. Children are going to love that. He's going to be saying, is that me, mommy? Yeah, that's right, yeah, oh, of course. Well, oh, it could be. And it's also written in, uh, in, in two languages it's, as well. It's written in Arabic, and it's yeah. written the explanation in English. Now, this is really important because a lot of children... And I have quite a few friends who are what we call Hafiz. That means they know the Quran by heart. Right. But if I say to them, what does this 
mean from the Quran. Yes. They won't be able to explain in English. Right. Because children are all too often just taught actually the Quran, but they're not taught the meaning. Ah, right, okay. Now, Which this is important. Is important. I mean, the, that the meaning is very... you might as well be reading in Chinese. Well, right, exactly. If you yeah. don't understand it. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So this is actually in Arabic, so you can read the Arabic, but you can also... Or any other language, by the way, that you can't understand. Exactly. Like Spanish, German, French. Many other languages. I'm not, I'm not very good with languages anyway, you know, not, not just Chinese, but Spanish, other language. German, French, sometimes even English. So, <laughs> so it's in English, which this clearly is. We yeah. can understand what it actually says, but we can read the Arabic as well. So that's very important when you're learning how to pray. Of course, yeah. And again, the colours in these books are fantastic, right? Uh, we've just gone through three books. You're actually getting 20 in the set for £25, uh, just over a pound a book. It's fantastic value for money. They're very, very good quality books. Remember, if you want to get on our website, it's shopamma.tv. 0800 uh, 12148855 is our telephone number. You'll see us every day on channels, uh, channel 820 uh, at 12, 5 and 8 p.m. We've got some great products coming up. Remember, these are um, uh, for, for your children, but we have great cleaning products. We have great kitchen products. If you want to go on our website, please do and have a look. Um, the item number for this is on screen at the moment. Just quote the item number when you phone through. Uh, go through to our, uh, our operator, uh, and the price of this is £25. It's a great, but these for all the books. There's 20 books in there, 20 books in here. So let's just go to another one, this one here. So this is how to pray your salah. So this is your actual prayers. Before we've learnt with this book on how to read the du'as, yes. now this is actually how to perform them. Ah, right, so there's a difference between uh, you learn them and that's exactly how you perform them. Oh, okay, perform I like them. that idea, yeah. And of course we've got the picture of the blessed Kaaba on there, which we all face, which yeah. is in Mecca. Yeah. And when we're learning our prayers and reading our salah, so this will actually teach you how to perform the salah. Okay. So again, this is very important. And of course, it's showing the different times. So when the moon is up and when the sun's going down. Yeah, of so course. So the different times as to, uh, as to when to pray. All right, okay. So, you, so these, are your, these are your five times a day. These are your five do, times a day. And, and that's the different times of the day. I think that's fantastic. I mean, I think it's a really, really good idea. And it's brought down the different colours as well. So we can actually relate to it quite easily as to when to pray and what to pray. Yeah. And again, we actually have the names here in English. So we've got your Fajr prayer, which is your morning prayer. Yeah. We've got your Zohar. Prayer, the Zohar which prayer, which is your afternoon prayer. Okay. You've got your, well, your lunchtime prayer. Lunch you time, okay. And then you've got your Asa prayer in the afternoon. Then when the sun's going down, which we've just shown on this page here. Yeah. You're moving on to your Maghrib prayer. Yeah. And then of course, when the moon's coming out and it's night time, you're moving on to your Isha prayer, now which this is, is the final prayer of the day. This is something that it, it, if you give this book to, to children. They will, they will learn and understand that very easy because the good thing about these books is they are very, very simple to understand. Would, would you agree? I'd agree. It's broken down in such a simple way. If you give this book to your children, you can sit down, watch the rest of Shop Umar while your children are learning yeah. how to pray. What about this page here? This is interesting. This, this is, is very just interesting. This is very colourful, isn't it? Yeah. These are, again, the times of the daily prayers. So we're actually going again uh, from the night time all the way through to the morning. Uh, right, OK. Yeah, lovely. So that's uh, and then it shows uh, the, the, the on, on how to pray and, and again we've got the Arabic and we've got the English I've got to say these books are fantastic for the, for the, for the money uh, what you're paying I think they're great I mean I, I would look at some of these and think to yourself well, you might pay three pounds a book I mean that's just my opinion yeah, you know absolutely. I mean even if you were paying uh, 2 99 per, per book I think that'd be good value for money but e for even, 20 even pounds even £2 pound a book yeah, this is just over a pound well, that's right it's just over a pound a book and it's not what it is it's what it does it's the meaning of everything it's what you're teaching your children uh, and you know what? The best time to teach children is when they're young, isn't that right? When they're younger. These, like you say, attract to the younger audience. So this is a lifetime of learning. Absolutely. Like yeah. you say, so those we've down. seen at the moment are, are uh, who is Allah, uh, believe in Allah, basic duas. Duas? Duas, yeah. Duas, 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 yeah. duas. And, and how to pray the... Salah. Salah. And the, the, Silent the, T. That's right, Salah. So you've got the, you've got the uh, what they are and how to do them, which is... Ab which is brilliant. Okay. So just, the, just these books alone, if we was to say you're getting four books in a set, yeah. uh, but we're actually saying you're getting... 20. 20 books in a set, but if you say just to get four books in a set, that would still be fantastic value, because this is all your child needs to actually know. Yeah. But then we've got all these other beautiful books as well, like your Islamic values for children. Yeah. Very important to install morals and values in your children. Well, it is to from, a yeah, young age. From, from any child, really, for, and you're yeah. right, from a, a young age, a really young age. Uh, I mean, these, these books are something that, as I said before, you keep. But, you know, to, in, to install those values into the children at a young age means it'll go with them for the rest of their life, and that's what, that's what you want to do. That, that's what you want to do. And installing Islamic values, you can't get any better than that, can no, you? No, no, 
right, just turn it to that camera just so they can see them. There we go. There you, so you these are your Islamic values. So we've got here, um, what we've got here, thoughtfulness and exploration. Yeah, well, I like that one, Thoughtful, uh, thoughtfulness and, and exploration. Appreciating beauty. Again, yeah, that's, a, that's a moral that I would I, I agree with, totally yeah, I, agree I, with that I, one. I agree. And Everybody Mike, of course, is a very beautiful person and we appreciate <laughs> yeah. his beauty. Thank you very much. Today. He's getting a bit old. <laughs> Go on. Um, thankfulness. So we're always thankful, thankful to Allah for yeah, everything that we have. Absolutely. We've got caring for others. So yep. caring is sharing. So sharing is caring. So it tells you how to care for others. So it installs the basic does, principles yeah. that you would have installed in your child. Islamic or not, these are the basic principles which you'll install in your child. Absolutely. So if somebody wanted to buy these for a child who wasn't a Muslim child, still a great set to have. I think so, yeah, I think it's fantastic. Now, we've, we've, believe it or not, we've been talking for 10 minutes and we've got through one, two, three, four, five, six. Better hurry up then. No, no, <laughs> I'm just thinking, they're so interesting, these books, and they're so good. We've managed to, we could do half an hour on these books. Yeah, we? absolutely. We do, uh, just, there's there's so much to learn. That's right. Now, we've got about another four minutes left, so we're going to go through each one of them. Obviously, we're not going to go them all in detail, but we'll just take, the, take them through very quickly. So this you've got the, the A to Z of Akhlaq. Yeah. So you've got, again, like your Islamic values, these are your moral values. Okay, yeah. So you've got your moral values for the children. And again, you, you've got very beautiful pictorial images there. Okay. So the children can see that and it's very, very easy for them to understand. Okay. So again, that's a, that's nice a beautiful book. book. Very good book, that one. Love your parents. Well, that's a, that's a good one, isn't this, it? Love this, your parents. This is very important. Very, very parents. important, yeah. Now, in Islam, what we actually say is Jannah, so heaven, is yeah. under your mother's feet. Okay. And your father is the key to the doors to get you in there. Yeah. So loving your parents is very important. This book will teach you exactly how to do that. Absolutely. That's beautiful, that one. Okay, then we go on the... Oh, this is a nice one as well, the Traveller's Prayer. The Traveller's Prayer. Very, very interesting. If, if, you, if you're off for a family day out with the children, yeah. and, and you want the duas to keep you safe on your journey and as you set off, these will actually tell you what duas you need to read, yeah. when to read them, and yeah. for each individual thing that you're actually doing. That's brilliant. So wherever you're travelling to, and again, beautiful images which children can relate to. Absolutely, right. Let's, let's go through these quite quickly, and then if we've got time, we'll come back again. So we've got this one here, which is Life Begins. So, this one here is so, the uh, Quran so, Stories for Little Hearts. So Little Hearts, so for little children, so Life Begins, where Life Begins, how it begins, of course, with Allah. Yeah, okay, next one. We've got Builder of the Kaaba. Two minutes left, so we'll get through all these so in two minutes. So we've actually got Builder of the Kaaba there, so how the Kaaba was actually built and who built it. So we've got the Iron Wall. The, what is the, what's the Iron Wall, very quickly? Well, the Iron Wall, again, it's just a story for the actual children, okay. which teaches you the basic principles of Islam and, okay. and how it was established. This one here? The story of the two, I can't read that upside down, gardens. Two gardens, yeah, lovely. So, these, are, these are lovely. This is uh, Quran stories for little hearts. These are great. Th these great are books. beautiful for the children. Allah's best friend. Allah's best friend. Every yeah. child wants to be Allah's best friend. Oh, there's a good one. The ant's picnic. The ant's picnic. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, sorry, the ant's panic. <laughs> so, so, so the answer panicking. Yeah, the panicking. That must be. Find I don't, out why. I don't know what. Yeah, find out why. Get the books and find out why. Yeah, let's we'll find out why. This one here. This is the uh, uh, the, the morals of, of, of believers. Of the believers. So yeah. what we believe. Absolutely. As, yeah. as, a, as a little Muslim, a tale of a fish. Now that's a, this is this is. A, I mean, these are great stories. I'm sure these stories. The lot. The, every story of, uh, will have a meaning. Um, but again. They're beautifully, uh, uh, beautifully illustrated. I, I, I love this left. one, Mike. This one Pizza here. in his pocket. Pizza in his pocket. You'll like that one. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, this one here is uh, the magic, uh, sorry, the king's magicians. Uh, that one there is brave boy. the brave boy. And we've got Alan made them all. So absolutely. So Alan made everything here. Absolutely. And you've got everything in the one set. So we've got 20 books here. 20 books for the price of £25. Just over a pound a book. Fantastic. I think each and every one of these books would be... Two ninety nine, three ninety nine. You're getting great value Easy. for money. Easy uh, remember, it's shopomer.tv if you want to go on our website. 0800 1214 is our telephone number. Uh, you can see us every day at 12 p.m., 5 p.m., and 8 p.m. This is a fantastic set. Remember, you are getting. Let's try and pick as many as, uh, up as we can. You are getting 20 books in the set. This is a fantastic set for for you. Whatever you do, don't miss out. Either give us a call now or go straight to our website. Thank you. 